हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फोर्थ इन योर मैथ्स यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल सो होप यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड योर एक्सरसाइज नंबर ट्वेल्थ ए ओके एंड विद दिस अवर कोर्स ऑफ यूनिट टेस्ट सेकेंड इज ऑल्सो कम्प्लीटेड विद दैट इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो इफ यू हैव एंड सीन दैट वीडियो टिल नाउ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो थ्रू दैट वीडियो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एंड नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस some more sums of the same unitary methods okay so the those questions are already given on your page number 108 108 okay so here you can see in your book you can practice it okay so let's start with our second question so it is given 2 kg of potatoes cost rupees 26 that means cost of 2 kg of potatoes is rupees 26 okay so you know very well how to do these type of question first of all we have to take out the cost of 1 kg of potatoes okay so for that what we have to do you know very well that we have to multiply sorry divide 26 by how much 2 okay then what will be the answer after dividing it by 2 the answer will be 13 okay you know very well in our early video earlier video the previous classes i have told you very well how to do the division as well as the multiplication okay once again you can see two ones are two and here if we will take six then two threes are six then nothing will remain here so here 13 will be the answer now seeing here now here what we have done 26 divided by 2 and our answer is 13 now 6 kg of potatoes cost we have to take out okay so what we have to do is simply 13 multiply by 6 okay 13 multiply by 6 and what will be the answer that means 13 6 are 78 okay so these type of questions you have to practice have you understood okay nothing new this is you can take is it as a revision okay so now our third question is 5 meter of cloth cost rupees 200 okay so we have to take out the cost of 18 meter of cloth so directly we can't so first of all we have to take out the cost of 1 meter of cloth okay so simply same method will be applied in all the questions that means 200 will be divided by 5 okay now solve it fast how much will come if we will we are dividing 200 by 5 yes the answer will be 40 okay so now for taking out the 18 meter of cloth cost we have to multiply 14 by 18 okay so if we will see that 18 fours are 72 and remaining zero okay so this will this is the cost of 18 meter of clothes so one more important thing is that unit you have to place okay for example in this in our answer rupees we are taking out cost we are taking out so the cost is given as in the rupees so rupees also we have to write here okay in all the questions understood okay now fourth you can do yourself then fifth if you will see five carrots of apples weight 100 kg okay the weight of five carrots of apples is 100 kg so what will be the weight of one carrot so it same 100 divided by 5 now tell me what will be the answer i think that you have completed okay let me tell you it will be 20 It will be twenty. Now, twelve carrots weight simply twenty multiply by twelve. So twelve twos are twenty four, and here we have to write zero. Okay. So now it is in kg. So we have to write here kg. Two forty kg units is necessary to mention. Okay. Otherwise, you will lose your marks. now coming towards our next question seventh one okay so here seventh question we will take 
see a ship takes 3 hours to cover 90 km okay it takes 3 hours to cover 90 km so in 1 hour it covers how much it will cover okay we are taking out the distance covered by a ship in 1 hour okay listen carefully so 90 divided by 3 okay so here what will be the answer after the division 3 1 3 3 is 9 and 0 0 okay so now in 7 hours it will cover how much it will cover 30 multiply by 7 okay and 7 3 is 21 and here will be 0 okay then again you have to write here unit that means kilometer okay understood okay now moving forward towards our eighth question see i think now it's very clear to all of you a factory makes 44 and 4200 bags in a week in a week means in a seven days okay in seven days in one day it makes okay then how much a factory produces in one day that we have to tell then what we have to do 42 double zero divided by 7 okay now you have understood now why we have taken out the 7 days okay so now divide it by 7 and the answer will be 6 okay because 7 6 are 42 and remaining two zeros we will write as it is okay so these are 600 bags in one day okay now we have to tell in 30 days how much a factory will that factory will produce then 600 multiply by the days 30 days okay now 8 threes are sorry 6 threes are 18 and how much zeros are remaining 1 2 and 3 so here 1 2 3 okay 1800 bags will be produced in 30 days by that factory understood hope you have understood these extra questions very well then prepare them and again i am reminding you that if you haven't seen the previous video then first of all go through that video okay and if you are facing still you are facing any problem in solving these type of questions or in any chapter which are coming in your unit test second then you can ask me okay okay till then complete your work Practice the remaining parts. Okay. Take care.